Shaitan is a victim of the big misleading devil. You see, here let us uh, let us question a few things. You see, people they read things but they don't go deep. When I say I did mislead the person, who is more evil and who is naive in this situation? Can, can somebody help me? If the verse saying that Shaitan he was misled by Allah. Who is the naive and who is the evil? Who is the victim and he was a naive? And who was the evil one? Can somebody, can people help me? Allah is the one who misled Shaitan. Quran confirmed that. Quran doesn't say that Shaitan, he said that Allah reject. No, Quran agree. Allah is showing Allah now is showing off his power. He can mislead Shaitan and he did. So who is really the real Shaitan? Allah. And you will notice here that Shaitan is a believer in Allah. Look, look, look carefully. Oh my Lord. Shaitan in Islam is a Muslim. Did you notice? Did you notice? This verse is extremely important. Maybe I should make just a video about it alone, so we can support it with more hadith, and so we can, you know, we can have like a, a full study about the stupidity of the one who made this book. So Shaitan, he believe in Allah. Not only he believe in Allah, he call him my Lord, which means his obedience. Shaitan was misled. By Allah. Allah, he agree. Shaitan, who obey Allah, he said to him, I'm going to mislead them. Oh, except those who follow thee. So Shaitan is doing service to Allah. Don't the Muslim they say, Allah, he test you? How many times we hear Muslims saying, Allah, he test you? How he tests him? Shaitan working for Allah. So Allah and Shaitan, they are a corporation of deception. Shaitan, he work for Allah. Allah, he sent Shaitan to you. And Shaitan is not a bad person in the eye of Allah. Allah, he choose Shaitan to be misled because he want him to do a certain job. Because he's evil. Right? Uh, another example of the Muslims when they when they post things which is funny. This is Al Amin. Before we finish here, let me show you what Al Amin he uh, he posted, so we can laugh. Thank you, Al Amin, for posting this. And in a second, people will laugh at you. Huh. Let me take a screenshot for it, so people will laugh. A Muslim, he could not refute us. A Muslim, he cannot answer us. What he do? He tried to seek revenge. Says, okay, you know what? Allah is the devil. Eh, your God is the devil too. But my friend, even if this is true or not, that will not change the fact that your God is the devil. <laughs> and you agreed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's two idiots. The first one said to the first one, the second one, your mother is a whore. So what if I'm a, your mother is a whore too? So now he agreed that his mother is a whore. Do you see the stupidity, people? They try to save their God from, their, from, his, from his stupidity. So what they do, they try to change the topic and they pose for us verses have nothing to do with what they claim. Let us zoom in. God make people believe that a, what it is false. What it is false. Uh, can you tell me what do you mean by it is? What does that mean?
why you don't uh, why you don't call me and tell me what I'm trying to say? How in Second uh, uh, Thessalonians it says that God is a deceiver? Can you help us? Are you willing to call me? I mean, do you have the courage to do so? In fact, the same chapter you are quoting for me, it says, let no man deceive, by, deceive you by any means. So how that can be, you idiot? What's wrong with those Muslims? He went to the Bible, he searched for the word deceive, he found one. And do you know even who's talking there? <laughs> Uh, he left as a donkey, never come back as a horse. You know, what we can say. The question is, those Muslims who they claim that they have an argument, why did they call us and show us their argument? Why they sit and they hide between the bushes? Why they have no courage? to call us and say, okay, I'm going to show you. Idiot. Silly. Google researcher. You get the opposite. You try to prove us wrong, you prove yourself wrong. Uh, which hadith about Muhammad death body? Uh, there is many hadith but now we are time to go uh, but I will give you one just to help you because but next time don't keep posting the same thing over and over if I don't answer it it's mean I saw it and it's not time for it okay Some people they keep you know they keep posting the same question which is very annoying don't do that I have to give you an Arabic uh, website and then you can use Google translation to translate. Alright, let us hope this website will open. Okay, this is the link for the one who asked. Open the link and you can use Google Translation. And this is where you find the, the reference when you open the page. When you open the page, the page will look like this, as you see. It says here that he was, he died in Monday and he was buried uh, Wednesday at night. And then they continue here saying that they were fighting over his death. And then uh, Al Abbas, he said, bury your friend, which means Muhammad. He is a human and he stink as all a human they stink. This is one of the reference, all right? So you can use Google Translation. And next time, for those who ask where we can find this, you see, that's mean you are not ready as long you heard it, as long you know it. 
how come you don't have the reference for it because each time we say those things we give the reference you know what I mean each time we say those things we get the reference that's mean now I will give you the link you will open it and you will close it and you will not save it so later you will ask me again and that will be just a waste of time for us so you can go and use Google translation this is Sunan Dorami or Dormi potato and uh, is giving you very important reference about Muhammad being a liar because Muhammad remember he says that we as a prophet our body will not decay our body will not decay and then this is why they did not bury him because he said his body will not decay they thought he is telling the truth no here we can say you see if they want to say it doesn't say that because it's in Arabic we can use Google translation in front of your eyes here we go you click here choose a Google translation let us see Google translation translate to English hmm. all right here it says Let us see where Al-Abbasi talk. Look at the translation. <laughs> no comment. Where is Al-Abbas? Hold on. Uh, yeah, translation is coming horrible. I don't know what happened in this translation. <laughs> okay, look at this here. It says, like you say, you are not loved one on God to look for dirt that the Messenger of Allah upon him has died and even left his uh, way approach clear. Fahil uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this translation let us use different method hold on I will use different method because for some reason translation is coming really horrible we will open Google translation and we will copy the text by itself uh, Google translate And by the way, we are not done with the, uh, what his name, uh, Shabir Ali. We, we will continue later. But what we can do. So we copy the text here. We go down. All right. فَقَامَ الْعَبَّاسِ فَقَالْ إِنَّ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ قَدْ مَاتْ وَإِنَّهُ لَبَشَرُ وَإِنَّهُ يَأْسًا كَمَا يَأْسًا الْبَشَرُ Oh, people, go and bury your friend. Okay. So he is a human and he stinks the same as all humans think. So now we copy this and we will go to Google Translation here. Copy paste. Uh, Arabic. All right. Abbas, he said, the messenger of Allah had died. And... Uh, Jason and Jason <laughs> Jason and Jason what Jason mean I don't know so suppose he should say and he stink as all a human being they stink so bury him I don't know what this translation here is really saying let us see uh, in, in Indonesian what it says Abbas Jadi Dai Barakata Rasulullah is A.W. Talaha Manenengala Dan Dia Berikato tha, okay, da. What Jason mean? What what this word Jason mean? Let me see what Jason what, what Jason says. What Jason mean? I don't know what this word mean. Hold on. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is very f funny translation. Yeah, I don't know why it's coming like this. But anyway, anyone who speaks Arabic, he can see it. It says, يَأْسَنُ كَمَا يَأْسَنُ الْبَشَرُ He stink. Actually, uh, uh, you can take it to uh, uh, the dictionary and you can see the words one by one. All right? Jason. <laughs> Oh boy, Jason, Jason, and Jason. <laughs> okay, look like look like even Google was screwed up by by the words of Muhammad. Nobody knows what uh, 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 Google is saying. No one knows what it's meant. Save Allah. <laughs> Jason and Jason, not Indonesia. I don't know what this Jason. I'm mean, why in the world is coming Jason and Jason. I don't know what it is. And what what, what this Jason and you know like uh, Vadaniyowa? Uh, what? Okay, we we'll go back to English again. I mean the translation is coming so so weird. What is this, brother? Uh, what what is the English? I don't see the English. Here we go, English. Jason, Jason. He is Jason, Jason. So for some reason, the word Yesan coming as Jason, Jason. <laughs> Try to translate the quotation without any word. Okay, let us do that. We will follow your advice. Here we go. So Yesan, Kama Yesan al Bashar. All right, and then we go to Google. <clears throat> Let us see if Jason and Jason is going to appear. Miserable as miserable as you. <laughs> the guy was saying Muhammad is a miserable as a miserable human. <laughs> hey, brothers and sisters, the prophet is miserable as miserable as human. No. It says he stink as all a human they stink. But at least now Jason disappear. For thank God, the word Jason is not what happened to Google. I mean, how Jason now became miserable. So no, for sure the guy is not saying the prophet is miserable as miserable a human. He is saying he stink. Yes, and you know, uh, uh, let us do this. Hold on. There is a dictionary, Arabic English dictionary. Maybe I can use it. Okay. I search for Yasan, it shows me Yasin. See, Google is confused. Hmm. Yeah, you see, I search for the word in English meaning. It shows me a different word, which is Yasin. We don't want Yasin, we want Yasan. You know? Google is confused. We are not looking for Yasin, we are looking for Yasan. Yeah. Let us try to find Al Ma'ani dictionary here. Hold, okay, hold on. Al Ma'ani dictionary. Uh, 
maybe I can find it hold on I will try to find it in the English website no Yeah, I could not find anywhere in English where we can use it. But anyway, the best if you want, if you are a Muslim and you don't trust me, for sure, this is your, you know, not normal for you to have. Uh, you can ask a Muslim Sheikh, those who Sheikh who have a YouTube page, you know, they go live. Tell him, brother, what is, don't, don't tell him the Hadith first. Uh, tell him what this word mean. He will tell you. And then give him the Hadith. Tell him it says the following. Let us see what he will say. You know? Let us see. What he will say. Yeah, I could not find anything in English. <clears throat> anyway there's many hadith there is one say speak about his fingers how they became like his nails became green blue something like that and how his uh, fingers they shrink like they collapse on each other and then uh, there's a hadith speak about batnahu, which means his belly became full of fart batnahu. You know, when a human being, uh, he died, still there is uh, the bacteria inside his stomach, uh, they will keep processing the food, you know? And because now he cannot fart, he's dead. So all this gas will, stuck, will be stuck in his belly. So his belly will start expanding. Uh, let us see where we can find this hadith. I'm just trying to find you and like a, a trustworthy reference I mean a website Muslim website so they will not say this is it's not you know true here we go we found one <clears throat> let me give you the link oh the link is so long this one but I will try to find it in different website then but here it says فَتَرَبَّصُ حَتَّى رَبَى بَطْنَهُ So they waited until his, the Prophet, his belly, his stomach became so big like a pregnant woman. So Abu Bakr, he says, the one who used to worship Muhammad, when Muhammad, he died. And the one who worship Allah, Allah is alive, he don't die. Because here the Muslim, they became a chaos. Muhammad, he told them that his body will not decay. He promised that, and this is authentic. And then 
less than three days after Muhammad his skin turn turning to turn into different color his stink and his belly his stomach is full of fart and then when the fart became too much or the gas became too much in the belly then that stomach will start releasing the fart because there's no more space which means that that body will start releasing uh, this bad smell uh, let me see if I can find uh, a website a link I can post because this link here have Arabic word let us see <clears throat> this one have Arabic words too see the problem here if you look with me in the top there's Arabic words in the in the in the uh, in the link so now the only way I can do it for you I will take it and I will try to shorten the link okay and let us see if it's going to work because when you post a link have Arabic words Google will not accept all right I will post the link for you tell me guys if it's going if it's working so you will find that you can count with me how many lines you see in the screen one line two line three line four line five six seven eight nine all right so you can translate it from the nine or yeah from the nine here فقال فتربصوا حتى ربى بطنه تربصوا مين they waited until his stomach became so big full of fart this is the end of Muhammad full of fart you know? and I changed the Muslim to say to me I'm lying you see this is the book of At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra do you remember the sheikh who he claimed to be a sheikh he called me he says read read At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra here this is At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra Tabakat al Kubra, Muhammad ibn Sa'd, volume number two, page number two, seven one. Fair and square. They cannot say we are making things up. This is their books, respected books. And those books are written by Muslims. Tran you know, and it's not translated. I don't know if this book is translated or not yet. I wish. You can click at Google. I don't know how Google will, translation will come. <clears throat> because there's some Arabic words here are very difficult for software to translate maybe the page could not be translated to try again let us try again okay uh, so here it says So they waited. Uh, the prophet he was arrested. <laughs> I mean, translation of Google is really horrible. The prophet was arrested. <laughs> the guy is dead. He was arrested by the Taliban. <laughs> no, it doesn't say he was arrested. It says he stink. His sorry, his his belly full of fart. So translation of Google again is not really a good translation. But what we can do, you know? Yeah. Garbage in, garbage out. <clears throat> uh, uh, Kamal, you see, you are in the wrong place. Don't come here again. You claim to be a Hindu. You don't dare to call me. And you are stupid. And you are here coming to call people names and curse them. Don't come here. Fake Hindu. So, uh, you see, this is why I don't like those questions because they take us away from our topic. So next time, anyone will do that, I will block you. Don't ask a question unless we finish the topic and we say, who have a question? Is that fair, guys? Because look what we were talking about, and now we spend maybe 20 minutes or maybe more just to answer this question about Muhammad, his thing. So what benefit that will do us? We have videos talking about it. Go watch it. And now after posting those links, did you get any benefit? No, because you cannot read them and you will not save them.
anyway so i want to say guys thank you for being here and i hope uh, today we have enough for for shabir ali for sure we will continue with him because this is the best comedy to show you how muslim they say things totally contradicting what their religion uh, teach and remember someone like shabir ali he claimed to be a sheikh he's not like a, just a, a guy in youtube supposedly you see he grew a beard he shaved his mustache and maybe many of you do not know that this is what muhammad he used to do he shaved his mustache he grew his beard and that will make you look like the devil i mean it's very ugly look at look at it i mean what is this what is that and what the point of this beard i don't know it looked like look like a fish or a, a goat grow something and it's not it's not even it's not nice so and what the point of this beard anyway you know but exactly trying to prove to us he's knowledgeable he is someone I don't know. so and the funny is the muslim they say that it is haram to change the way allah he made you look like it is haram it is act of the devil to change the way allah made you look like so why you shave your hair and why you shave your mustache and why you do circumcision you know what i mean this religion cannot stand any ground the second you start questioning this the stupidity they practice they fail right away it is haram brother to change the way allah he made you look like it's haram okay why you are shaving your mustache allah he made you with mustache as a man 